I'm Kevin Saray, sometimes the janitor here, but also the CEO of the company. But, but, Regardless uh, of what came along and didn't come along, the big learning we took from that is that people began to treat that machine like Mary. Who would that? If I had stood on this stage 20 years ago and said, right now, any or all of you can take my picture, literally share it with over a billion people in the world, you would throw me off the stage immediately because there was no way for me to predict that sending a few bits over a wire would make this grand of a change in your life. So Humans are very unique. And as much as we see all this fun stuff in the movies and fun stuff everywhere else, I want you to remi remember that what we're focused on is mundane tasks. And if you can find relatively mundane tasks or big data tasks at your clients, these are imminently doable today. So, so the iPhone launches, take you through this launches. launch, and, and I'm sure you're wondering, and is anyone gonna buy a phone from Apple? People have become more concerned and more scared, like, oh, it's going to take over my job. It's going to do what I'm doing. It's going to, well, they added the room out there, and then they added the room here, and they kept adding until they built the entire building, but they never gave you any more janitors. It's still just you cleaning the floor every day. The, the critical thinking janitor just Googles, you know, floor cleaning robot, finds some, and becomes the overlord of the robots and now starts to make decisions on where do they clean, when do they clean, where do I recharge them, which ones do I build, who do I get to repair them, et cetera, et cetera. So it's the most it. valuable thing you have in your organization is your people. And they're made more valuable than I, with IT rather than less valuable. I <laughs> well, I'll tell you, in this particular case, uh, for anyone who's been in a public company before, you absolutely uh, know that you cannot disseminate any information that's even just the hint of possibly incorrect. Just the, here's what matters. Choose a field that makes you inspired and makes you happy because you will not inspire others unless you're inspired yourself. <laughs> yes, it's a, it's a happy robot. So then, Do you ever wake up, Vint, and go, I invented the internet! I mean, just like for a second, it's like, it does it dawn on you, it's the freaking internet? Just for a second, I mean, you know. No. <laughs> no. A dog walking robot, and what's fascinating about this is in, in recently in surveys of dogs, they like the robot better than the human. Today, what is your vision? If you looked out 10 or 20 years, what's your vision for where communications moves? And how does the FCC think about that today so that they're prepared 10, 20, 30 years in the future? I know that this is a whole new renaissance that we may be able to see actually in our lifetime. The driverless vehicle, period full stop came out of that organization. We wouldn't have driverless vehicles today, and they had made four, five, six years of progress before everybody else said, I think they're onto something, and it's going to change everything about transportation as we know it. So that was Astro and his group. Everybody wins. Our, our customers win, uh, your viewers win, and there are jobs out there, but I, it's going to take companies like ours that are looking forward and building this capacity because we see an absolute onslaught of orders. And in fact, even right now, we're having record years and record quarters every quarter so it couldn't be better. He finally comes back when the company is essentially bankrupt. And what's he do? He doesn't say, well, I'm a computer company, I'm gonna make better computers. He kinda does that, but he says, yeah, that's kind of interesting, but I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make a music player. Well, uh, I'm so happy to be here. This is an amazing crowd and I've got about five and a half hours of material to fit in 45 minutes. So, so if I really wanted to be disruptive, I would have stood up in the meeting and said, I know I risk shame and I probably risk my job, but we're not actually in the Kleenex business. You know, I, I literally saw John Chambers just uh, two nights ago and he talked uh, at great length about this. What um, was that? Uh, that was actually in Berkeley. He was, he was uh, actually taping a show for another network, as they say. The way the U.S. government has done a very good job for arguably 100 years mm -hmm. by, uh, by RPE more recently, and before that, the DOD expenditures. I mean, you know, uh, the internet came out of DARPA. That was 80% of the tasks that we do today will be automated by 2050. And many of them will be automated within 10 years. Your job will not be replaced by artificial intelligence, but you could be replaced by other leaders that leverage artificial intelligence to do your job. This is our possibly one chance that we will be free to do exactly the same thing. I for one can't wait, and I hope to see you all there. Thank you so much.